use an online map generator called Medieval Fantasy City Generator by Wataboo. Here it is. I'll click on that. And I'm going to use this and I'm going to export it as an SVG because this map maker allows you to export as an SVG. Then I'm going to put it into Blender and make it slightly 3D and make it look kind of like an interesting architectural abstract work. It's just a little thing that I've been experimenting with. You'll have to excuse me because I'm drinking some coffee at the moment as well. So we go to the Medieval Fantasy Generator. We can have lots of options. You can keep clicking it. Obviously there's an algorithm or something that works out randomness. You can even warp it. I don't really like that idea. I like the idea of the computer working, doing all the work for me. You can change the options. You can change the styles. You can add buildings. You make the buildings complex, sorry. Layout. You can add things like citadels. Small. It's kind of like a Spanish town with a castle, doesn't it? So lots of nice things we can do with this. I want to get rid of the... Oh, that's okay. That one. So that's quite pleasing. And you can change the palette as well. This is Blueprint. It looks quite nice. So all you do is you export it as an SVG if you want to import it straight into Blender with lines. Which you'll see in a minute. Let's go to small... Let's just call it City. Call it something different. Now it's a city. I'm going to open up Blender 2.80. Let's do a new scene. I'll delete the cube. And all I need to do now is import what I made in the medieval map generator. I'm going to go to where I exported it to. And let's see if this works. Unfortunately, it hasn't been doing that well in the last few tests. Yeah, it's been importing not so many of the buildings for some reason. This could be just some setting in the medieval generator, but I've got one <laughs> I made earlier that worked out really well. And it's under... YouTube, sorry, it's under YouTube City, and this is coming in as a really big file. Okay, as you can see, it's imported right down here, very small. And for some reason, this one has got two cities on it. I'll just right click that. But that's a nice pattern, you have to agree. I'm just going to scale it up a bit. So it's very small as I said. Just making a nice scaled up version. Now I've got it all selected, I'm going to convert this. So I press space. Convert to... Whoops. Yeah, another thing, it's a bit buggy, I'll just select most of it, so I'll select that, and that should now convert to, yeah, mesh to text, so it takes a bit of a while, I'll grab that and get rid of that, so this stuff didn't convert for whatever reason, delete, come on, oh, Hmm, I should have, there's something weird with the groups when you import it, but anyway, let's go back down here. I think it's going to work, so I'm going to press E to, no I'm not, I'm going to press select all, <laughs> edit mode, select all, and E, it's nice, that's a nice height. Right. And it's even made the walls 
thicker as well. And I can select individual elements, right click SZ. With this plugin, the SVG is sometimes when I'm selecting individual objects and scaling them, it's scaling the whole the whole lot up. You'll have to look into that if you have more problems with that. I don't. It must be to do with the, how it's coming in in groups. You know, so you can go around. You could do this scale randomly, or you can do it. I like to sometimes do things by hand like this. Give it a bit more intuition. And you can also border select, select a whole area, S, S, Z, to restrict it on the Z. Yeah, that's quite interesting, isn't it? And for the this whole tutorial, it's kind of going to be an abstract look. So I'm pretty pleased going with that. Let's take it to, so we're on the EV render, renderer. We're here in EV, the 2.8 great real-time renderer. So it's not looking much at the moment. What I'll do is I'll take the grid off. Grid is a bit, it's because it's 2.8, oh, I'm not used to some of the things in it. Where everything is. All right. And I'm going to try and find the camera. Oh, there's the camera. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Zoom to camera and N lock camera to view. Mm. Let's kind of change the dimension here, make it look kind of widescreen. Click on the camera. Should we increase, decrease the focal millimeter length? So we can make it 35. Look at that big perspective going on. That's kind of okay. Then we can go to, sorry, my mouse is playing up. We can go to the environment, the world, sorry, color, just give it a normal color, like a plain, an orange is nice. An orange is nice. It's kind of a faded retro orange. That's quite nice and 60s, 70s retro. I'm going to go back to the default light in the scene, right click, go to the light icon and make it into a sun, RR, free rotate, let's make the sun low in the sky, see how that's getting on. So it's looking quite funky. You could it could be a low polygon game level. And I'm going to go to the rendering tab, and because we're in EV, we can do some really nice things down here. Add ab um, ambient ambient occlusion. You can accentuate the you know, the shaded bits and how they relate to the other colors. And immediately it gives it more bite. So look at that as composed to ambient occlusion off. All right. Let's close that. You can do volumetric type lighting, motion blur, depth of field, bloom. It's a bit like, it's a bit lens flary. If any of you around 
doing the old 3D graphics in the late 90s and early 2000s. Lens flares used to be all the... Too many people used it, and I think with Bloom it could be the same thing. But it does look pretty cool, doesn't it, in real time? What I'll do is open it up. Just make it more subtle. Yeah, it's quite nice. See it really? You can look at it from all angles. And then press F12 to do a render. Shift. See that's looking nice. Press F12. And then I can take it into Photoshop or GIMP and put a vignette around it and post process it. There you go. Making a cool abstract city design with medieval map generator and blender thank you very much check out my own imaginary cities science fiction universe thing that i'm making called threezuni.com i've got some trading cards for sale with that soon now sorry now soon and that's it. Have a great day wherever you are. And remember to ask any questions or comments. You're more than welcome. Bye.